what is in a pack of altered TCG cards. We're opening up some Kickstarter packs for us today. And you're gonna notice we're doing a little bit differently here. I'm gonna set the cards here and you're gonna see a little bar that's blocked out in the bottom because these cards have QR codes on them. I'll show you a token example because it doesn't really matter too much, but there you can see in the bottom right, there is a QR code which we're not going to put on the screen because these cards you actually scan them into an application the app for altered tcg and look at this first one we have waru and mac the fun thing about these kickstarter packs is the very first card is foil and the foiling looks really good i don't want to move it too much here on you but it is a very very cool foil look you don't get that in the non-kickstarter packs but very, very nice. So every pack starts with a foil hero here in the Kickstarter versions. Then we move into the common section. The commons, you'll note, all have the black border around them. Later on, you'll see we have commons, rares, and uniques. Both the rare and unique cards, hopefully we open a unique today, have a full art border on them, which is very, very cool. We'll talk about that more. And we have the mighty... Jin. I'm loving the art in this game. I love the theme, right? That the theme is more about exploration, not about destroying your opponent, right? So as you play Altered, the goal is a race, actually, not trying to kill anybody, even though you still have Loki in the game, even though you got Loki there. It's fun. I love it. I love the theme. Uh, people in my family love it, too. It's been fun to talk to some people who aren't always super big into TCGs. They've been excited about this one. Look at that guy. Very, very cool looking card. Here we go, moving into some rares. You can see there's the full art. There is the Hatter. Rare cards are also marked by that blue gem right above their name at the top of the card. Unique cards will have a golden gem there instead. Look at that, Martin Gale. And the fun thing with all these rare cards and common cards is that, ooh, sorry, look at that, Kybera. So here, Kybera, he not only has this version here in rare, but he also has a common version, and he has another rare version, which goes to a different house. Here you can see the faction on this one is Lyra, even though his original house is actually Bravos. Bravos is the one with the fire that we saw the hatter come from before there now it looks like there's something kind of cool coming up here i don't recognize look at this cool conjuring seal again a rare card so spells can be rare as well and then oh it's just a monolith archivist again another rare so no unique and then here we have a foiler and again i'm going to cover i guess a different spot on this card the qr code is in the middle and what is different in Altered is instead of normally getting foils in the packs, like we saw that first hero at the front, and you get these foil foiler cards. And what a foiler card does, you can scan into the Altered app, which keeps track of your collection, and then you can choose which of your common cards you want to foil as opposed to just getting a random foil. Now, of course, then you're going to have to actually order that card, so you can't quite do that yet. But once they have that set up, it's going to be very, very cool that you get to choose which of your cards are in foil. That's a fun idea. Here we go. Next pack, Bravo's Hero. It's Sadi and Surge. Very, very cool Surge there. The foil on Surge looks really good. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of that. I love that they added these foil cards in there just to kind of give you a look of what foils will look like in the future if you're deciding to foil your cards. Cool tiny gin. Boom, oh my goodness, look at that guy. So as much as this is a peaceful game of exploration, not everything on there is always peaceful, right? But this cloth cocoon, very different, much calmer. Now something fun too about these Kickstarter packs is that you have a little bit higher drop rates for getting unique cards, higher drop rates for getting the foiler cards, and you do get an extra card in each pack. So these packs, they're a little bit juiced up from the non-Kickstarter ones. I think there's also some alternate art cards. 
And then like one in every 250 packs, there's a gold pack, which just has 10 uniques in it and four unique foilers. Very, very nice. Hard to get though. Very hard to get. The other thing that's cool, these rare versions, again, it's the same card as a common card. It has a few changes on it. That's where you can see they have those the numbers. The color changes, or there'll be a little color change in the text. It'll be yellow. That means it's different from the common version. But they don't just change that too. They also change the art up a little bit. So the art you'll see is developed more in the rare copies of the cards as opposed to the common versions of them. Cool gift of self. And look at this. We've got two foilers in a row, both of them common. Let's move into the last pack. So for example, kind of how they develop those cards, I don't have it in front of me, but sometimes what they'll do is there'll be a city, for example, in the common version, or a building, and the building will be partially built. This cool Sigismar wingspan. And then as you look onto the rare version, you see it's more developed. So the building will be more complete, or there'll be a group of people running around in the first common version and then there's just more people in the second one dr frankenstein Ooh, our friend our friend obviously you can tell they have a lot of characters from different places kind of a fun thing there look at inari very cool and again the game is a race so as you're playing trying to ride the bifrost i'll show you when you get on a character here but you're kind of racing across three different types of land. Maybe I'll never find another character. There we go, the monolith rune scribe. So you can see there on the left side of the card, you're going through either the water, the land, or the mountains. I'm not sure, those are probably not the technical terms for it, but uh, that's what they look like as I'm looking at it. And there on Ada Lovelace, you can see her second number there in the middle there with the mountains. It has a different color which means it's changed from her common version, which is, again, kind of a fun way of modifying cards, having a lot of unique things. We didn't see a unique card yet. Maybe we will. But the unique cards, they are actually unique. There are no other cards like them. They have a generator, kind of like Keyforge did, but for just unique cards instead of mixing up entire decks. Here in this Izmir Stargazer, you can see its ability. When I'm sacrificed, you may have target character gain two boosts. That's all highlighted because it's different from the common version of the card. And you see the word sacrifice there? Oh, they were so close to getting to kind of a more fully non-violent theme. And then they don't have any words like kill, murder in the game, but they did sneak in the word sacrifice. But what can you do? We got close. Oh, there we go. Our very first unique card in the opening here. They're not very common. It is Tinkerbell. So again, this Tinkerbell is unique. There are no other copies of this Tinkerbell in the world with these exact stats. I like that. I think that's kind of fun. You never really know what your opponent is going to have in their deck because they might have cards that are just totally, totally different. I love that. I love the little chaos and excitement. Very cool. Cost four to play from your hand, a three from the reserve. We've got two fours and a zero there for trying to win your race. And then at the bottom, you can play it if you control token sabotage. Sabotaging is fun. You get to get rid of one of your opponent's cards in the reserve. And then at the bottom, if you play it from your hand, if you control a token, target character gains one boost. So very fun. We got to see that. Last card here, another foiler, three foilers in a row. I haven't seen that in any other packs so far, but I guess, again, these Kickstarter ones, they have a few more. If you haven't tried Altered yet, but you'd like to, I suggest checking it out over at BoardGameArena.com. Otherwise, if you know you want to play Altered, you want to try it in person with some cards, I will have all the products available over at MastersetMadness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.